we like to do at Brit Day as a whole is just develop this idea of terroir. We have our, we have our honey, we have our olive oil, yeah. we have our wine. Our honey comes from all different types of plants, so all, you know, flowers all over the farm. So some of it's you know, native flowers, and there will be a little bit of mango. Okay. But we've got the Zutakawa in flower at different times of the year, and, and we've got the lotus. You know, the lotus, lotus ponds are full of beautiful, in the season, um, which is sort of February, March, beautiful lo lotus blooms that are full of pollen. So the bees, they're not very active mm -hmm. in the winter. Obviously it's cold and they spend more time just sort of keeping their body warm, protecting their, the what they call the brood, which okay. is the, the new, new eggs. And they, actually the queen doesn't lay many eggs and things. Then um, spring comes, it warms up, and they start going out foraging again, and they will start making honey. Quite a short season um, that they produce honey. Well, we'll leave that honey for them for the winter. Basically, in a hive, um, you've got the, the queen, the, the drones, which are the male bees. But the male bees don't do much. They, the only thing they do is they impregnate the queen. They don't. Yeah. When a queen is, she's fertilised once, and she flies into the sky, and um, and chased by the drones, and then she's impregnated. And she can lay something like five million eggs. She'll have all the eggs with her one, to, one. to lay for the rest of her, her life. life. So some of them will do that housekeeping work. Yeah. They will be keeping the hive at an even temperature. They'll be cleaning out the cells. They'll be building new cells ready for the eggs. The main uh, disease of bees in this country um, is Varroa. It's a little mite. In spring and autumn we have to put this treatment in there, little impregnated strips. We're about to put in one called Bavarol, which is an organic uh, treatment. It's a very sort of rich, very layered, slight nuttiness to it. Um, it's quite delicious. The colour will change also according to... Sometimes it's, um, it's quite pale. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's very, very dark, especially if um, the manuka and the kanuka has been in flower, which is sort of all around here, mm -hmm. and that will produce a much darker. We'll take the honey frames out, we'll spin it all out, we put it through a couple of sieves, just so there aren't any little bits and pieces in it. Um, doesn't get heat treated or anything, straight into jar, labelled, and then we can have it for sale the next okay. day. Okay. Honey is one of the most sterile products. Yeah. There, is there, there was honey in some of the Egyptian tombs, and it was, you know, still, it was still there as honey, edible honey after thousands, thousands of years. years. Yeah.